from Surface Repair Solutions, we have Mr. Rude Van der Mullen. Rude Van der Mullen is the Chief Executive Officer for the solution in the UAE and the Philippines since 2012. He has a sound background in facilities management, project planning, and operations management. So our first presentation for this session to discuss on services that may contribute to waste diversion and green cleaning and related services for buildings, we have Mr. Rudy Van de Mullen. I'll pass now the audio and controls to you, Mr. Rudy. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for having me here. Um, like uh, Chester said, uh, I am Rudy van der Meulen. It's, I think Rudy is easier to pronounce uh, in the Philippines because it's a Filipino name also. Um, what I'm going to show you today is some of the hard surfaces we can repair. Uh, basically, the goal of our company is that we do not replace. Um, we basically restore and renew it. That's our, our goal. So in your current buildings, in during construction, before handover, we can do repairs which are extremely high in quality. Um, and will save you a massive amount of cost at the end. Right, let's go through the first proper sheet. This is one of the projects we are doing, uh, we have done in the UAE. Um, as mentioned, we do construction sites, we do properties, we do marine and we do uh, hospitality. Um, at the moment, we are primarily uh, involved in construction in the UAE and here also in the Philippines. Um, and as I said, we do their repairs on, on glass, on stainless steel, on wood, marble, ceramic, basically almost any kind of hard surface which is available, we can repair up to a level that it is close to invisible um, to see the repair. Um, one other thing we also recently will introduce um, into the Philippines is the last item on this on this on this list is copper silver ionization, which I will go a little bit deeper in a little bit later. Um, during the presentation, I will show you some before and after photos of what we can do. Uh, like for example, here on, on stainless steel. On stainless steel, we can repair scratches. We can repair corrosion. Um, the only thing we cannot do on stainless steel is dents. Nobody in the world, as far as I know, can do dents. But for example, if you have uh, elevators, and this is, for example, an eleva elevator cladding, uh, badly damaged during its life cycle. Um, on the top photo, you will see the damage. On the bottom photo, on the left side, you can see we repaired that damage. Important to understand is that during our processes, we do not remove anything. Anything we do is on site. So the moment we have to work, we go to the site. We go, for example, in this case, in the elevator. We do our magic and then we go out again. Another thing what we can do is, 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 is glass. And glass, we do that a lot here. We do that. Uh, also in the UAE quite a lot uh, and here we do scratches on glass we can do chips on glass rainbow marks on glass we can remove and again the key thing is we do not replace because everything what you have to replace normally goes into the landfill but we don't like that so we repair it up to a level which it which is looks like new again Let's go to the next slide. There's a little bit of delay. Um, this is a sample we did here in the Philippines. In the Philippines, we have a lot of uh, corrosion, uh, the, the, the acid rain on, on glass. And after a certain amount of time, if that is not properly being uh, treated to the glass, uh, you will, the rain will eat into the glass, meaning you can't clean it anymore. Um, during our, our process, our polishing process, we can make the glass look like new again. Let's go to the next slide. There is a slight delay I can see. Here, this is the Linden Suite. Uh, the Linden Suite had a problem internally into the 
into one of the spas. Over the years, the water in the spa basically damaged the glass, cleaning not possible anymore. Uh, like I said, the, the polishing process, we basically remove everything from the glass and we make the glass look like new again. This was damage from, um, from water over the years. And like I said earlier, if you see the before and after photos, you will see chips on the glass. And for every item or every surface we repair, um, we have special fillers, uh, special liquids, um, basically to fill and to repair the damage. So it is close to invisible, um, close to invisible repair again. Again, the goal, nothing goes into the landfill. And we do that, like I said earlier, during construction phase, um, even after construction also. Um, earlier I said we do, we do glass scratches. On the left of two photos, you can see, uh, on the left side, you can see scratches on the glass. And on the right photo, you can see that we have made the glass clear again. A question which some of you might be asking is, yeah, but if you grind the glass, it might be the glass becomes weaker. Uh, no. During the process, glass will not become weaker. It will not become stronger. It will not become weaker. It will just become one uniform panel again. On the right two photos, you will see the during process. The, the, the gray areas is basically the grinded area. And after the, the polishing process, you will see it is it's clear glass again, basically. Again, during construction, a lot happens during construction. Um, and it basically doesn't need replacement. We can fix it up to a level that you don't see it anymore. One other thing we also do is wood. We can do we can repair artificial woods and uh, the real woods we can we can repair. And on the wood, we can do scratches, we can do chips, we can do various kinds of things with no need to rip the whole floor out. Uh, we can do repairs which are very difficult to find in the Philippines, and not only in the Philippines, but also UAE. And I will take it a little bit further, even globally, the repairs we do, there are globally maybe 10, 20, 30 companies who can do the kind of repairs which we are able to do. On wood, like I said earlier, if you have doors damaged like this on the left photo, we basically fill this with our special fillers and we make the, 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 the damage disappear. Um, on the right two photos, this was from Bulgari in, um, in the UAE, in Dubai. During the construction phase, um, somebody hit a veneer wall. Um, and as normally what happens, people will order or we order um, woods we order veneer uh, we only have little stock when we order and after we have completed the project or after a couple of years there is no stock anymore so what can you do you can do only the repair or you can rip the complete things off we don't like the, the, the latter so what we do we repair we repair anything like i said what has a scratch dent um, of what kind of damage all on on, on the surface Acrylics, we can also do, especially with, with bathtubs or shower trays. If the bathtub or shower tray is damaged, which is acrylic or even a ceramic bathtub, we can do. Um, damages like this, um, if you look at the left photo and the right photo, the before and after, again, no need for replacement. We can, we can fix those areas. Uh, a chip here on the left photo, you see a, a chipped bathtub. And on the right photo, you see that the damage is repaired. We, 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 sometimes we go a little bit more extreme and you will see the right two photos uh, that during the construction phase, somebody hit the, the side of the bathtub. Uh, we are able to fill this and we are able to match up the exact same color again. Again, key message, no need for replacements. Nothing goes into the landfill. Let's go to the next slide. <clears throat> aluminium repairs, we also do ACP panels, um, any kind of aluminium we can, we can repair. Um, dents 
scratches, um, anything we can make it look like new again, and it is it is to make sure that it stays right for a very long time. Recently, we have done um, sorry, recently we have done Okada Manila here in uh, in in Manila. Um, the contractor at that time was not able to match the color and uh, fix the dents and the scratches. Uh, we were able to match the color on site uh, and respray basically some of those areas. Uh, marble and granite is another area, another hard surface which we can fix. We can make a lot of damages disappear. Again, no need for replacement. This is one of the projects we did here in uh, in BGC, on the left photo, you will see the marble, which has weathered over time. And on the right photo, you can see it, it looks like completely like new again. Like I said earlier, we use special raisins for the repairs we do. Uh, these, ra these raisins and these materials primarily come from Europe. Um, and we import them here. Uh, like I said earlier, marble and granite, um, on, the on the left two photos, you will see uh, this is um, Citibank Plaza here in, uh, in BGC. Uh, before and after we have, we have done our, uh, our tricks. On the right two photos, you see during construction, again, a damage on, on granite. And on the right photo, you see that we have filled the granite and we made the... the the artwork or the design exactly the same. So there is no need for replacement and no need to throw this all in the landfill. Which as mentioned earlier in the presentations, if we're gonna go to 2 billion people or increase the, the population by, by, well, by a massive amount, you don't want all those things to go into the landfill because there is nothing anymore for our children. Again, here on the left two photos, you will see the before and after photos of um, of BGC Citibank Plaza. On the right two photos, you will see, um, which is a, a marble sill on the floor. It was damaged, again, during construction. Um, our guys are that well trained that they can fix the damage and make the damage disappear. Like I said earlier, we don't remove anything. We only repair. Ceramics we can we can also fix. This is, for example, a project which we did in in Abu Dhabi. This is the Qatar Al Hassan Museum. The, the museum had a complete restoration a couple of years ago, and during that this restoration, we had to make sure that the drill holes, which were in every tile, and we repaired around forty thousand tiles on that project, we had to make the drill holes disappear on the tiles. And not only the drill holes we had to we had to fix, we also had to fix damages on these tiles. Well, for example, on these wall tiles, you can see on the left photo, these are pretty badly damaged. Most people will think, well, maybe it's easier to replace these. Maybe a discussion, but the client wanted, um, in this case, he wanted to keep the old historic tiles. So he requested us, can you keep these and can you make these tiles whole again? So I said, we, yes, we can. So on the left photo, you will see the damage which we had during the whole phase, during the whole restoration phase. On the right photo, you'll see that these damages are basically repaired. So what's the process? We have, like I said, we have special fillers, and these special fillers we fill up the we fill up the the, the empty or the damaged parts, and we make sure that the artwork goes back into the tile again. And what we then do, we we color the tiles as per the color which is on the tiles. Keep, keep in mind, there were five different kinds of blues, several kinds of yellows on this one, and, and also the, the brown ones. Every tile was matched up manually by the technicians we have. Let's go to the next one. Concrete we also do. Um, we can repair your concrete and we can match up the color. Like the photo here on the next to the, the steel brush, you will see a crack on concrete. 
And on the right photo, you can see that the crack has disappeared. Basically what we do, we, we repair the concrete and we stain the concrete as per, as per the concrete is. So it, it doesn't have unsightly cracks anymore. Okay, like I said earlier, we do almost any kind of hard surface, uh, hard surface repair up to a level which is very difficult to find locally. Um, one of the other things we are doing and, and is, is, for example, copper silver ionization. And I know we, we talk a lot, a lot about air. Air is important, but I also do believe that water is very important because like, what, like air, water is important for a human body. Over the years and since the early 1900s, I believe, we have been using chloride into water to remove bacteria and biofilms. Well, just Google, don't believe me, uh, look on chloride and health. Chloride is not the healthiest for a person. Yeah, chlor chloride can create hair loss. Uh, and if you look at my hair, I don't have much hair anymore, so I use too, many, too much chloride, but chloride is not healthy. Chloride will also not remove all bacteria and biofilms from, from water systems. If you look on your, um, your water systems on, on the roof, where normally what happens there, you have a big tank somewhere in your building, just put your hand into the water over there and feel the water. It's, it's probably a little bit greasy. Why is it greasy? Because you have bacteria and biofilm. The moment you start using a copper silver ionization system, um, all your water in your building, in your hospital, in your premises is basically from point A to point C to your end taps, completely free of bacteria. No more Legionella, um, no more E. coli, no more weird bacteria into your system because why? Copper and silver will basically eradicate all these. Any other system currently in the market will not do that. Even, even chloride will not be able in your whole building to eradicate uh, bacteria. It's simply not possible because it, it weakens. Um, copper silver ionization will make sure that your copper and silver ionized uh, are in the water from point A to Z. So for example, for hotels, what they have to do every once in a while, every month, they will clean their water tanks um, on the roof um, or wherever they have them uh, because of the whole bacteria. There's no need anymore with this. The copper and silver, copper and silver, sorry, will basically eradicate all these kind of bacteria. This is a new system for the Philippines. It is has already proven its uh, its functionality in the Middle East, where where we have. Uh, made sure that the water in Dubai World Expo was completely uh, safe without chloride. In the Middle East, we have over 400 systems implemented. In the Europe, where the system is from, we have over thousands already. Uh, this system is com can, com can feed into your BMU, in your building management unit system. So you can also monitor your, your, your whole building if the water is still safe. Um, this is an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, and like I said, air is important, but I do believe that water is important also. One other thing I want to say about this, um, if you look at your pipes in your building, um, over the years, chloride will corrode your pipes. So at a certain moment in time, you need to replace your pipes. With this, that is not needed anymore because copper and silver will not corrode the pipes. Um, like I said, this is going to be new in the Philippines. I just signed the agreement with the, the, the European and Dutch company um, and available as of, as of now. These are some of the projects we have done in the UAE, but I do believe more important are, are the next ones with the projects we have done and our clients. Some of our clients, which we are having currently in the Philippines, and one of them is also Wolf Vision, who spoke earlier here. Um, we have dealt with, and we're still dealing with, with most of the bigger clients here. Uh, and why? Oh, because, the, like I said earlier, the quality we are able to deliver to your projects 
and to your buildings is very rare to find. That will make up my presentation. I do know it's, there is a lot of information to congest. Um, if any questions, please uh, do, do contact us. Uh, we're more than happy to help. And thank you for, for having this and uh, thank you, Chester.